just good old fun music we can all groove and chill to. Stay tuned right here on the Iconic Playlist. This is the Iconic Playlist. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we are talking about Luke Bryan. So I haven't talked much about Luke Bryan on the channel. I think I've made some videos showing him off, such as like collections and whatnot, maybe a few shorts, I don't remember. I haven't specifically talked about Luke Bryan much, but I do really enjoy a lot of Luke Bryan's music, even though a lot of it is filler type songs. Now he does have a new album coming out. I think it's coming out shortly. I don't believe it already came out. I don't remember when it's coming out though, but I do know he has another one on the way. But I want to talk about an album which I think was my first ever Luke Bryan album in my collection. I bought this back in like 2022, I believe. It could have been early 2023, but I believe it was 2022. And it's Born Here, Live Here, Die Here. This was my real first introduction to Luke Bryan's music. I heard the name, I knew he was a country singer and he was somewhat popular and also somewhat hated because the majority of modern country artists are hated by the majority of classic country fans and whatnot, which I understand, and that's a whole other video in itself. But this album had one song particularly that I just adore. I think it is phenomenally written. It has the genuine country sentiment that you expect from a true, real country story song, and it has some great vocals because Luke Bryan is a phenomenal singer in my opinion at least musically it's interesting you know there's only so much you can do in the country genre because you're kind of limited in a lot of ways musically speaking but it sounds still musically interesting for what it's trying to convey and that song is build me a daddy now a lot of times you don't get much genuine storytelling in country music anymore it's a lot more just like party type songs or just generic songs album fillers in fact this album itself has a lot of album filler songs like there's not another song on here that I think is phenomenal. You know, the song title track, Born Here, Live Here, Die Here itself is fairly decent, but it has kind of a genericness to it. Now, and I say that, I don't mean that I really dislike any of these songs, because the fact is, if they showed up on my MP3 player, I'm not skipping any of these. They're just not standout, all-time wow songs. But Build Me a Daddy might be my favorite Luke Bryan song I've heard. I own a few of his albums now, not all of his discography or anything, but it is just very, very good. It could have been made in any era. I love the heart that it has, because the thing is, a lot of country music now just doesn't have a heart, which, like I said, can be a whole separate video in itself, comparing old and new. It really has a heart that a lot of country songs nowadays just don't have. Now, certain songs like Thomas Rhett's Death Row has just as much heart, and it's probably even better than Build Me a Daddy. I just really, really enjoyed that song, and I think everyone should definitely check that song out for sure country does is also a solid song on there but again it's kind of an album filler outside of that the rest of this is kind of just more generic you know they're not bad songs but they're kind of just like whatever i think i paid around 15 dollars canadian to around like 12 dollars american for this album it was definitely worth it though it was definitely worth it i do wish Luke Bryan would make some more what I would consider serious songs. I know there's some other songs that he did that are more like that, but I mean, in general, since he doesn't do a lot of songs like that, but when you do get one, it is done so beautifully. And I just had to make this video praising that song because it's just one of the best songs that's released within the last 10 years, in my opinion. It is just so well done. Like I said, the only other song I can really think of that even comes close, at least in modern, you know, country history, would be that Thomas Rhett collaborated song that he did, Death Row. Because again, that was a very unique song, didn't feel generic, felt fresh. I would personally have done that solo and not with the other people on it. I feel like it would have been even better, but that's just my own personal opinion for Thomas Rhett there. Yeah, this Luke Bryan song is just as good as that song, and I've mentioned that other one before as well. Yeah, Build Me a Daddy is just a 10 out of 10 amazing song. It kind of almost doesn't even fit the album in a sense, because it kind of feels out of place. The rest of the album are kind of album filler songs, at least in my opinion. And then you have that song like right in the middle and just kind of feels out of place, honestly, which is pretty funny. But it makes the album worth buying because the rest of the music, like I said, there isn't a bad song on there. So it's like a solid album for what it is. It's just, you know what you're getting with that album. It's kind of throwaway in a lot of senses, which is fine for what it is. But yeah, that song is just phenomenal. 